So let's start uh, our meet the speakers. So thank you for coming back, Timo, Martin, Holger, Domi, of course, Thomas and Unal. Uh, let's start with Thomas and, and Unal with ADT. Domi, did you see, do we have any questions in the chat? Do you see any any special questions related ADT? No, but, uh, I don't see any. Okay, I can't hear Domi. I think the, your <clears throat> microphone is switched off. Um, Yeah, I, I don't have a mic right now. Uh, because, okay. Uh, Unil and Thomas are uh, in the room. So there are no questions in the, in the, in the chat. Okay, then that's the time the uh, every speaker can a little bit introduce uh, himself. So if you want, Thomas, maybe some of, of, of the audience don't know you. Maybe you can uh, talk a little bit about you and what you do uh, at SAP and Unil. Yeah, sure. So um, I'm Thomas. I'm more than 20 years at SAP and uh, working in the area of the ABAP development tools. So I started uh, as a developer in the SC24. Um, and now I'm the product owner of the ADT tooling. And uh, I'm currently mostly uh, engaged in uh, <clears throat> projects where customers transform their legacy coding towards the new. ABAP style, so ABAP Cloud, for example, but also in, in S4HANA. So all these kind of code transformation is one of the key topics where I'm currently working on. Okay, so um, you are one of the guys, so if uh, Timo, Timo said something, he requested a feature, so you are one of the guys who is responsible for new features. <laughs> is this correct? correct. Yeah, for Perfect. This we have a nice, a nice uh, customer influence channel. Um, ah yes. That you also will that you all also is linked in the uh, ADT directly. So if yeah. you want to have uh, open a feature request, you can directly go. I think it's in the um, so somewhere in the in the menu under Windows, I think, um, or, or uh, um, there you can click on it and then you can fill in some some form and request the feature. This will normally uh, directly land on my desk then and okay. discuss about it. Perfect, thank you. Or people who know me, you can also send me an email. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know. Yes, uh, I'm an ADT developer. Yeah, I started seven years ago, roughly, and uh, was in one of the ADT development teams. I worked on different um, features, ABAP unit, um, what else? <laughs> That's hard now. Yeah, on different features, of course. Um, also in the rough tooling area, and yeah, together with yeah Thomas Fiedler also. And uh, now I'm also since a few years also uh, yeah one of the product owner and responsible for knowledge transfer document, which I showed also, and also for the rough tooling and element info, and yeah some some minor things also. And also some things that lands on the desk of Thomas will also be forwarded to me. And then I have to handle the things also. <laughs> so he will approve it and you will do it. <laughs> yeah, if, if it's in my responsibility, I have to take okay. care of it, yeah. For example, that the uh, quick fix on method chaining is not working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can great. provide so... a list. So I, I do not have special questions to ADT um, because um, like Domi, I work um, very intensive with, with ADT. So I, I used it in a daily base. But for example, I use it nearly as it is uh, installed. So I do, know it, I do know any changes. I have the standard layout, the standard theme and so on. No dark theme. Is there a recommendation from your side, Thomas and Unal, how to use the ADT? or which which add-ons should be installed from your perspective? Yeah, so first of all, the, the recommendation from our side for the installation is to go via the standard Eclipse way, that you first install a fresh Eclipse installation um, and then um, install the, the ADT tools on top via the update side and keep, keep you up to date also via the update side. So you so just recently, I think yesterday, there was a 
new uh, Eclipse standard version out there. So the December release, I installed it after my talk. <laughs> <laughs> Not yesterday evening. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's it uh, uh, works smoothly. Uh, so works as as before. Uh, updates take you typically a few minutes, let's say. Um, additional plugins for sure. There there is a list. I think Timo also mentioned some. Um, mm -hmm. For sure, um, ABAP Cleaner, I would recommend. ABAP Git for sure is definitely a standard tooling. Um, okay, in ADT only usable uh, when you're working with, with the ADT, with the um, Steampunk, the cloud. Uh, on premise, you cannot use the Eclipse tooling for ABAP Git. You have to use the, the GUI uh, interface for that. Um, so that's that's the recommendations or other tools. Uh, last week, I think, was a post about some very nice tooling in the area of uh, CDS and search um, from uh, Ludwig. All these Ludwig so it's absolutely yeah. recommendable also to look a little bit um, outside of the SAP ADT tooling, what others uh, have provided. So concerning the yeah the, the 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 setup, let's say it's really up to you. So that is right. It's very flexible. You can also uh, change sheet. Uh, keyboard shortcuts or the keyboard coloring it's very flexible but it's then also hard when uh, working on other ones uh, desk for sure so when for example the, the keyboard shortcuts are different things like that so I don't, I don't have insights how we at SAP are doing this so it's really up to the up to the developer so there's no no guidance central guidance to have a standard setup or, or, or like this so it's really up up to the developer. Or okay, for example, you. also what is what we have is the we have also seen in, in Timo's talk the, the templates. So this is also some kind of an individual setting. So you can define uh, templates on your own, but there's also the possibility to share these templates. So you can download the templates and share this, or set this on a, on a file share that others can use it from there. So there are a lot of capabilities also how you can set <clears throat> some Eclipse settings on a broader. Uh, Team, let's say. Thank you, you very much. How are you doing? You you are more more on the developer side. What what's the experience in your team about this? Also, that every developer is doing it on its own. Yeah, everyone configures like the for example the ABAP unit view. Some have it below. Some on the right hand side. It depends. Uh, for me, uh, I also do screen sharing and demos. I just get used to the default template. You know, then it's uh, I don't have to search for everything else. Um, but everyone has their own preference. Also, for example, for me, I have personally everything in one view when I'm working with the debugger views, and then I don't need to switch, for example, with different with the different perspectives. Uh, it's a little bit cumbersome then to do with tons of views, for example. Yeah, but it's up to you how to use it, and that's the nice thing which I like. Yeah, you can configure it as you like. And everyone has their preference. Okay, thanks. Okay, um, then uh, next to the Microsoft uh, colleagues. So maybe Holger and Martin, can you also introduce a little bit uh, yourself and tell a little bit what you do at Microsoft? Sure, let me get started. Um, yeah, so Holger Bruchelt, um, I'm a part of the product management at Microsoft. So I, I, I joined Microsoft seven years ago. Before that, I was uh, a very, very long time at SAP. So basically, I just switched sides. Um, I, I'm still on the SAP campus and now uh, in, in Waldorf. And now I'm looking, or our team actually is, is really looking at uh, how can we integrate different Microsoft services with different SAP services. and. This, this can be on a, on a development level, like, like what we showed today on, on the ABAP side, but also then the integration um, in, in Teams, in Microsoft 365, um, security, um, integration services, events is something that is really cool where, where we're doing a lot of work with SAP right now. So yeah, across the board, integration topics. Martin, you're still muted. Yeah, you're muted, yes. Yeah, you're, you're right. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I, the, um, 
I came from a SAP consulting background, so I never worked at SAP in, in Waldorf. So I was always like in implementation projects, never in software development in, in Waldorf. But now in, in Microsoft, I'm part of um, product management, um, same team as Holger. And um, we divide topics uh, between uh, the two of us. Yeah? So I look at the Procode stuff. That's why I'm deeper in the steampunk and embedded steampunk world and ADT. Um, and um, also the larger integration topics and always quite passionate, always working with the with DSAC and hands-on workshops. Uh, I really like um, meeting the developers and seeing how they approach the, these types of things. Yeah? For instance, there was a ABAP developer innovation day with DSAC uh, at the beginning of this year where we had like, I think 50 uh, customers attended and um, really connecting systems similar like we showed today. And it's always good to see what works, what doesn't. And um, yeah, so that's what I like most about the community spirit that we have. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Uh, Tommy, uh, you're back. Do you saw any questions regarding Microsoft, uh, ABAP, SDK? No, not yet. Oops. Only uh, the Git repos uh, should be provided. So the, the links uh, okay. uh, where, where asked for the links, but uh, they are already provided uh, on the slides. So no questions. But, but well, I have maybe a simple question. So if uh, imagine I'm um, an ABAP developer and the business comes to me and says, okay, we have Microsoft, we have, I don't know, SharePoint or something like, uh, please, do an integration, make, develop an ABAP integration. How should I start as an ABAP developer if the business comes with that question? Should I just Google for it or is there something, what, what would you recommend to, to start? Well, the, uh, go ahead, Olga. I think the best starting point as an ABAP developer, we have the ABAP SDK. Um, so, so and, and the, the cool thing from my point of view is this is really something that came from Microsoft as a customer, so from Microsoft IT. So, so Microsoft is a huge SAP customer, I think one, one of the largest SAP customers in the world. And um, so we have hundreds of ABAP developers at Microsoft, and they had exactly these questions, like what, what you just said. Um, so, so they were also wondering, how do we integrate in SharePoint? How do we integrate in other Azure services? And um, then actually, we had all these teams starting doing their own implementations. And then um, the, the IT said, well, this doesn't work. We, we, we cannot support this. This, uh, this, is, this is a not a sustainable approach. So, so they, they came together and said, let's build one SDK with standardized logging, with standardized authentications, with standardized error handling, and so on. And then basically all of Microsoft came, uh, the ABAP developers came together and contributed to this ABAP SDK. And then it was used for many years, actually, internally. And then in, in a lot of EBC, so executive briefing centers, when, when we interacted with customers, customers always ask, well, how are you doing this, Microsoft? And then at some point in time, we said, well, let's release it on GitHub. So we, we took our, um, our ABAP SDK. We actually then also used ABAP Git to, to help with the um, with the uh, lifecycle management there uh, to, to publish it and also on GitHub. And now it has been on GitHub for six years or something like that. So so, so it's a fairly um, widely used um, SDK in the meantime, if you want to connect to, uh, to Microsoft resources. And I can confirm this. This is it's uh, then it's very oh very relatively easily easy to integrate SAP, ABAP, and for example, SharePoint. And without mm -hmm. that, it's hard for an ABAP developer. Of course, you can do everything by yourself, course, but yet, then yeah. you have to invest a lot of time and create a lot of classes and, and whatever, and especially authentication, a special thing. So it's really very, very helpful. Thank you for that. Cool. And I mean, it, it lists also from contributions. So, so we have a lot of colleagues and um, Gregor Wolf, I think, contributed quite a lot. Lars contributed quite a lot to the SDK. So, so there, there are also a lot of customers that are now really contributing to the um, ABAP SDK for Azure, which is also really great to see. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Uh, and finally, Tim. Timo. Tim, sorry. Timo. I can't hear you. Uh, I didn't say anything. Ah, okay, <laughs> that's the reason. <laughs> Second reason uh, besides <laughs> muted, yeah. 
Yeah, my, my intention is, is still alongside a lot of others to uh, bring more people into ADT. I have a very good colleague of, of mine. Uh, I talked to him in the in the fall this year, and he's still a uh, CAT fan. He says, nah, I, I didn't make it to, to uh, uh, RDT, and he was one of the colleagues where I learned ABAP from. 15 to 20 years ago, and I, I'm still not able to convince him. Um, nowadays, we are not working in the same company, but I hope with this, with this kind of sessions and so on, we convince more more persons to to leave SE8 and see, and see all the benefits that a modern IDE will provide you with. Exactly. As, yeah, and 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 he, Tommy, Tommy told told us something about uh, if if um, someone uh, asks him for for help, they, that's really Tommy. Then says if he's either as eighty, then he's like, okay, I, I cannot help you. It's impossible for him to help you. To help. I, I can't really. Yeah, and and that's that's a little bit the same when when I come uh, to to a colleague and he has a complete different uh, layout in Eclipse and says, um, I feel better than that. I think this is okay for, for people who are on a really high experience level, then we can, can discuss on that. But on the other side, I'm not a big fan of having so much cr uh, creativity in, in layout and code style and yeah. so on. Um, yeah. the, the opportunity uh, is always, we have to, to get it in, uh, back in speed. And there it does not help if you have so many different settings, somebody has it here, somebody has it there. Uh, for more or less, it, it, it always makes sense to have the outline some where you can have lots of methods below because they are usually more methods than they are wide and and so on so there are some settings which might be something like an uh, ideal settings and maybe there, there is uh, there is something that that is uh, can be done in the in the initial shipment i think thomas uh, you provide the ABAP perspective and i think you you would have the opportunity to have um, pre-configurations of this perspective isn't it? Maybe we can can have it. Yeah. Uh, but I'm sorry, I need to interrupt you. Uh, we are uh, uh, the time, time is over, up. and we need a short uh, lunch break. Yep. So uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Timo, Holger, Martin, Danke, Alden. Thomas, Danke. and Unal. Thanks first. Um, we will have a short break now uh, until 30, 30 uh, 1 minutes. p.m. 30 minutes and then we are uh, back 